got the old dirty trick. Uh, hi there. Wait, this is actually good. Hold on. Yep, I just scored a touchdown. Nice. <laughs> Hi, guys. You can't see it, but I have a Nintendo Switch in my hand right now. <laughs> Sorry. Getting in the spirit of the mood. Spirit of the season. Uh, eventually, that MFL trailer will pop up, but... Good in ha goodness in heaven, it's been a lot to learn a new program and at the same time, you know, plan everything else in my life. Howdy. For those who may not know me, which isn't many, very many of you anymore, uh, the name's Bones, Ricky T. Bones. I'm a V singer, V producer, VTuber, and apparently I know how to art. So I say. It's gonna be more like I will rough out a face on these pumpkins we got here and try to do it as the best of my ability. I will not half-ass it, but let it be said that Ricky T. Bones is not the artist of his family. <laughs> uh, I hope y'all had a good day. I'm slowly regretting some decisions I made. Um, so, I think the only person who's gonna know about uh, Taco Cabana would be Mimsy, if what I've been led to understand is true. Uh, they just added a new menu item to the list of things that will probably kill you in the long run. Uh, they added a Frito Pie Quesadilla. It was loaded with jalapenos, pico de gallo, and it was just pain. <laughs> Because an additional ingredient they don't tell you about is chile relleno. I think I've said that right. I'm wrong. Chile relleno. Essentially, just your average spicy chili. And it's all pepper. It's all pain. And I regret eating it, but I almost finished it. Because <laughs> I don't want it to go to waste. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe my spice tolerance is just not a, is just gone at this point, but it wasn't worth it. It didn't taste like anything but spice. It's it was all right. I think if you're a fan of spice, like just straight up buffalo wing sauce, um, oh god, yeah, maybe it's up your alley. But for me, I prefer spice to enhance a flavor, not replace it. Okay. So, we've got a couple of... Let's explain how this is going to go, but first we need to swap over to the correct screen. Please, hold. Boom. As soon as I appear, bam, there I am. Okay. So, this is our pumpkin. As you can see, I've already gotten a bit started. Um, we are going to have... I do have some BGM prepared, although it's not of my own. Um... And I want y'all's opinion on this one because I don't know if it might be too spooky for some or maybe too distracting. But this is lo-fi Halloween BG. Lo-fi hip-hop Halloween lo-fi beats, basically, by Lo-Fi Geek. Let me go ahead and fix this up. Gonna make a pinnable comment, comment in a second. Come on, work with me here. There we go. And... Ooh. I mean, it's seasonal, but it's got, it's got the lo-fi sort of warble, so it makes it sound even creepier. I do have a backup in case we find this a little too distracting, but I like it. I like it. It's a little different than our usual art streams, so I figured, you know, why not be appropriate with it? There we go. Hopefully it's not too loud. Okay. 
turn it down just a little bit. There we go. Alright. So, we already have a list of... What's it? We already have a list of requests. Thank you. Thanks to the community. Community post I made quite a while ago. Hey, only one request. Only run one request per person. You've got Neko Arc on the way. Don't worry. Hi, Phantom. Nice to have you. I know you're looking forward to your kitty cat. Kitty cat pumpkin. Yeah, this is like... It's like... Five other people behind you. Shigo Adachi Chaos. And unfortunately, we've only got two hours to do this, so I have to make cuts where I need. And we don't know how long it's going to take me to do at least one of these. So, first off on the list is going to be Neko Arc. Because surprisingly, Adachi Chaos of. Daedric Prince of Madness. You were... <laughs> fourth time in two days. God. Why... Why are... Why are people like this? Just, you know, come up with a really marketable name like Ricky T. Bones. Then you'll never want to let go of it. So... The first... The first one we have is... Of course, Nekalark. I forgot to look up any reference of any of this, so for, permit me a second while I go grab a reference image of Nekoark. I know, I know what those haunting eyes look like. Um, for anybody who, who's not aware of what we're doing tonight, we are making more jack-o'-lanterns out of a asset by Garu VT. You're trying to come up with an official name for you? Ooh, okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna be mistaken for being sponsored by somebody else. But what about Flex King? Like literally, not the, not the muscle kind of flex, but like, from what I can tell, you can play almost any fighting game character, which is an impressive feat. Flex King FGC or something like that. If you want like a Twitch handle. Okay, where is my window? YouTube was drunk with you. Hi, Savannah. Uh, sorry to hear that. A, go a little goofy goober who does a little bit, little trolling with a picture of Chibi Iron Tager from Blaze Blue. Okay, that's uh, that's gonna be the next one, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Neko Arc. Oh, it's spelled N-E-C-O. My bad. Hmm, okay, that should work as a reference image anyway. Alright. Oh, please. Work with me here. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> you know it. You know it. We're starting with Neko Arc, the cursed the cursed one. Unfortunately I have to bring this into game very quickly to make it into a PNG, because it's a web P. Wonderful. Welcome in, Frankie. Welcome in. And speaking of, anybody who has not submitted their request, go ahead and do so now, because uh, we're going to be here for a while. Frankie and Savannah, you've got an, a you've got an available request right now. We are making new jack-o'-lanterns to put outside my studio door. If you got an idea, speak now or forever hold your peas. Good God, you're getting inventive with those launches. Okay, uh, where do I want... Okay, let me go ahead and make a new art project folder. This is... Pumpkin... That's missing the P. There we go. And then I will make a PNG out of that shortly. I should have really prepared for this a little bit better, but at least I have a list of everybody's requests. Okay.
There we go. Fix that up. I love, I love, I love GIMP 2.0. It's, it just eats everything you throw at it. Okay, we'll minimize that. Um, it's just a dachi. You can thank Sir Percival for that idea. Mm. Yeah, Neko Ark's face. So basically just the eyes. Yeah. The terrifying eyes and cat mouth. What about the silly Eldritch Dr. Faust? Okay, I will type that in. I've got one idea myself, but I'm going to put y'all's above it. Okay, and underline... Frankie Bagman. There's no guarantee these will come out well, but <laughs> maybe attach cat ears on top of the pumpkin. Mm, no, it's got to be on the pumpkin face. Otherwise, it's not going to be realistic. Like a Neko Arc pumpkin is, but whatever. Uh, Doctor Faust. Okay. Add it to the list. So, just to put... <laughs> I don't think I could fit all of that on a pumpkin Adachi Chaos, Seagull Wrath. Okay. So, let me just go ahead get back into clip studio paint and I want to pull up where is it okay I'm just gonna have to pull it up through that how would an unjackoed lantern be I think that would just be a pumpkin wouldn't wouldn't it basically what we're looking at right now <laughs> okay this might be big yes oh god in heaven there he is Okay, realistically, I probably should have just, you know, put him to the side there. And let's go ahead and make him a little smaller. Okay. Little smaller. Oh, he does not take well to being sized down. So that is Neko Arc. Yeah, it would just be a lantern. Okay. <laughs> the time you get an official. <laughs> Shio Adachi Chaos back back guys. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, pretty much, yes. Okay. So, we know what that looks like. We're going to use a felt pen. There's the pumpkin face. We're just going to test out some things here. Eight. Okay, and that needs to be black. Whoa. That some kind of Argonian nonsense I don't understand? Or just a lot of... Is that upside down text? I can't tell. Okay. Greek. Ah, okay. Uh, where is... There was one more thing I need to get. And that is a proper pumpkin, because I don't have the colors for it. And I will say, Garu VT does a lot more detail than I will during this. So let's have a look at what an original looks like. This is one of the ones I have outside. So we're just going to use this one to grab this, the right shade of black 
for no good reason other than I said so. There we go. Get rid of it. And now the carving actually begins. Assuming this is actually... Eh, it's alright, I guess. I think it could be a little bit bigger just for the general shape of the eyes. The detail is the friends we made along the way, sure. Yeah, maybe I can, like, later on try to detail it. Yeah, okay. That's a fine. You did the same thing you took the colors from that lantern? Yeah. To be glowing? Okay, I can try. I can try. I can think, like, like there, one of the other ones has glowing. So I don't see why not. So probably what we want to do first is define the uwu. That's a horrible... Needs to be rather symmetrical. Then the eyes. No. See, this is where my lack of art skill comes in. <laughs> comes in handy. Or comes into play, I should say. Yep. Mm, too big. Too high. Warbly, but okay. All right. Eh, not feeling the eyes. Hold on. Let me think about this. So, in a real jack-o'-lantern, because we need to think about this logically, how would you do eyes? You would actually... I just realized. You would do half moons, like so. And then... connect them. Yes! I have officially... achieved... Cheatsy doodles. Yeah. I might want to do the semicircle first then. Circle 2 is your best friend here. Yeah, but I feel like that's cheating. We can be here for a little bit. Hmm. Ah, uh, I see why. what happened here. Okay. Okay, I see what happened, yes. Slightly tilted, unfortunately. There we go. Now the other side. There's no cheating in art unless you're cheating. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, digital art is all about cheating. What am I saying? Like, it, some people might consider it, it cheating to be using a digital pumpkin. To which I say, yes, now why don't you go ahead and clean up your pumpkin goop? Hmm. What if I... That didn't work. It kind of works, but no. Ichika Yuno, greetings from Japan. Hello, hello. Konnichiwa. I know it's relatively early over there at the moment. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Acquaintance. The name is Ricky T. Bones. Thank you for checking out the channel. Hmm.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. should be okay and then we need oval eyes okay okay I'm I'm starting to get a little too catsy here And that looks like a butterfly. Damn it. How did I do the other one so perfectly? I might just have to be honest with myself here and say, you know, maybe, just maybe. <laughs> you should quit while you're ahead. Okay, so we need to make it logical now. Uh, how do we make the... Oh, right. I, for, I just remembered. We can cheat. <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks so cursed. <laughs> Okay, I have a way we can fix this. I know circle tool, circle tool, I refuse to use it. Okay. Ow, that's gotta hurt, Savannah. I'm gonna scrape off a little here. Ooh, this is looking good. Jekyll Ark. Jekyll Ark isn't real. Jekyll, she can't hurt you. <laughs> okay. Now the question is... Hmm. I mean, we can try. Ah, that just looks like devil horns, right? Like, if we just... Add in... Cat ears, like... Oh, God! That's a jump scare. There we go. It would still be accurate even if it was, Devil Horns. Very true. Very true. Okay, and then let's see if we can't add in a little personality here. The tufts. Oh, you got a point. You got a point. Well, let's see. Oh, I get it. I get you. I get you. I get you. That actually might work. To be very slight about this though. Mm, I haven't got the right tool for this. I would need a different shape altogether. Okay. Okay, I guess that works, but I destroyed some of the outline here. That's fine. 
Okay, time is only 20 minutes. I feel like we should put more effort into this somehow, but I can't see how. We've already created the perfect monstrosity. Maybe... We could at least... A little, a little more rounded. That would work. Recommendation for next year's pumpkin carving stream, or if you do. All right, let's hear it. Also, how many of y'all like pumpkin pie? One right here, baby. Pumpkin, pecan, apple, ap Dutch apple. Pumpkin pie is always good. Pumpkin pie is especially good. <gasps> whiskers! Actually, Nekoark doesn't have whiskers, though. Does... Yeah, no, Nekoark. <sighs> have I ever tried making my own? No, actually. In fact, the only thing I've tried... I've had a bunch of failed attempts making my own shit, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, Alright, so a little bit of story time while we look at this monstrosity. Um... When I was, I want to say this was like at least three years ago, um, I decided to go to my local food mart with my family and look for some weird stuff that maybe I hadn't, one of raisins, many masochistic faces. Interesting, okay. Okay, so we have the Neko Arc pumpkin. This is looking good. Are you satisfied, Adachi Chaos, Shigo Rat, that they drink Prince of Madness? Or is there anything we should add to this? I think this looks amazing, honestly. I, th I didn't think it would turn out this well. But, to be fair, Neko Arc's design is a little simplistic. You know what I just realized, though? Those eyes aren't nearly big enough. And the glowing eyes, thank you, thank you. Okay. Let me just fix up the eyes in general here. And then we need to add a little bit of haunting glow. We do have some... Let's see. So that one's devoid of glow, which means I can bring it... I'll bring in a different one. Um, the glowing effect will have to be a hard part. Absolutely. I'll have to learn how to, like, airbrush shit. <laughs> Let's go with this one, seeing as we're, we're looking at it. Oh, God in heaven. <laughs> That's cursed. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh. <laughs> okay, looks like the way Gardu did it... They... Hmm... It's kind of like it glows specifically from the middle. Yeah, okay. Hmm... Let's see... You haven't tried haunting someone? I'm amazed! You've got more self-control than most ghosts I know. Phantoms haunting Spotakoi all the time. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's take that. Give it a reddish tone. And then... Let me see if I can actually learn how to use a different tool. Just about to say that. Great minds. Great minds probably knock into each other's hit numb skulls. 
You just tend to exist in streams and chat with people and cause structural damages to their humble abodes. What do you... Okay, to be fair... To be... Wait, hold on. Damn it. <sighs> of course, I forgot that. I forgot to put Clip Studio in front of me, not behind me. There we go. Boom. Now I can start blocking essential, essential reading material. Awesome. Ryan, you haunt me plenty with your schemes and your... Um, you're betting. Okay. So, for this effect, what can I use? So there's pens. Pen, marker, brush? Yes! Okay. So brush would be it. Let's see. What does that do? That is... Oh, okay. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. It's just kind of not doing much. Okay. Flat watercolor. What the hell? Interesting. Bleed. Wet wash. Oh, dear God. This is... Okay, maybe not a brush. Airbrush, there we go. Okay, needs to be smaller. Ooh. Okay. You have an idea for a pumpkin? All right, lay it on me and I'll add it to the list. Hmm. You know what I can do? I'm an idiot. I can do... And you lost the idea. Ah. Via using yellow. Hmm, we'll see what we can do. This isn't transparent, so I can't actually... Oh, okay, right. I forgot. Yeah, I almost forgot. The idea is that it's emanating from the center of the pumpkin. Hmm. And unfortunately, Neko Ark's mouth isn't exactly big enough to put light through, but... We can cheat a little bit. God, this is not looking good. <sighs> You're not sure how to make the glow effects? No worries, Phantom. Hmm, I don't think I did this right in the slightest. Okay, let me give it one more shot. Spray, droplets, noise, running color spray. Okay, yes. So realistically, this wouldn't work, right? Yeah. Nah, I don't know how to make a glowing effect with paint, Clip Studio paint, unfortunately. I mean, I could look it up real quick. But if it suggests a, like, try my new, try out my brush download here in this 40 step part tutorial, I am out immediately. Okay, so immediately it gives me just video tutorials. Okay, let's try it. 
Ryan, I have been on YouTube for so long being a self-taught son of a gun that I have had to deal with so many tutorials. It's absolute ridiculousness. No worries. Okay. Using the app. You can't be serious. Hold on. That's not a real thing. What the hell? Most of the details. Press of the sketching in light. I I roughly sketch in the desired lighting using an add glow layer. What? Okay. What? Ugh. Make an outline with with the color you want to use for the glow. The bucket tool. The bucket tool to fill it with said color. Preferably a bright yellow instead of red. Okay, I'll give it a shot, Mimsy. Keep forgetting you're you're a proper you're a proper artist like Phantom. <laughs> okay. Ryan, you need to stop brushing your teeth while you're watching a stream. No, not a layer. It's just them being all facetious like and you know, you just kind of draw the most in Lisa and you're done. You know, like drawing a Kirby. <laughs> okay. Let me see. So, let's go ahead and add a little bit of Hey, you know what? Let's borrow this light. And then Okay. And Oh dear, this doesn't turn out well. A brighter for the lining of the pumpkin? Hmm, I see, yeah. Yeah, I get you. Okay, so unfortunately, I'll have to do the glowing eyes off stream if I can. I'll, I'll probably like give it a second to learn how to do that. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and add like the carving lines because I see over here is a little bit. There's a little bit on the extra, so I'm just going to outline it with pumpkin orange, just to give it that carved look oh goodness I should do this in steps because my shaky hand is worthless when it comes to this stuff see just like that oh, fuck. God. oh I'm still on the am I still on the right pen yes I am oh dude okay I am going to zoom in now and cheat. No, do not read. No, no, no. And no, no, yes. So I need far more precision than I would think. Line over here. Oh man, speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> I, I'm trying to segue something bullshit, but it's not coming out, so I'll just. I'll just flat out say, speaking of art, <laughs> and just use that as a general segue. Y'all. Um. So I did grow up in the 90s, obviously. I'm a little bit more. I'm a little bit older than that. 
but when was somebody going to tell me that Mutant League was a thing back then? Mutant football, foot, Mutant League football, the original Sega version of the game, had its own cartoon series. Kind of like how the Super Mario Brothers did. It was about as good, obviously. But it's well worth your time now because instead of having to hunt down a VHS copy like I would have to, um, it's available on YouTube now. Like you can look up the pilot episode in the first and the second episode of Mutant League, and it's so good. It's so cheesy. It's so ridiculous. And there's a character in it that immediately caught my attention. So in the original Sega game, when I when I did some research for uh, back when I did some research back in the day. Okay, here's an idea for a pumpkin. Try to draw what you think I look like. Just realize that some sort of like, can you draw me? I, oh, no, actually. I mean, when I think of you, Ryan, I think of like... Okay, this is... I kind of do think of Napsta look, but I'm trying to think of like a unique, more unique way. Like, so one, one thing I had in mind um, back when I was still pixelated was... Maybe draw a Napsta look, but instead of normal eyes or like kind of like how I had note eyes, I would give you like R eyes. So two R's instead of pupils. Ah, oh, son of a. Ah, you're not a sheet ghost. Okay. So you're one of the old, those Victorian individuals. I see. Forgive me, my lord. Ah, oh, no. Start. Doing it in steps, otherwise you will never be able to recover. Okay, now we do the other side. Well, I mean, I can give it a shot. It's going to take a bit more, a bit longer to concept, but I think it could be fun. I'm going to have to detail this a bit more later, but for now, I think this is pretty damn good. Not going to lie. Ah. I bet you can't draw what I look like. Yeah, you got a point there, Frankie. You're always, always anonymous with that bag over your head. I say that as if I don't know you're already a sentient talking bag. Got a weird question for you, Frankie. I think I already know the answer, but were you a Vespi? Because I was. Okay, do I need to put the outline on both sides? I don't think so, but... Yeah, no, that just looks weird. I'll just put it on the underside. Sort of like because we're looking on the inside out. And then for this, for sure, I need to. You were passive. You were a little passively, but never made his dreams. Ah. Uh, they were good. They were good. It's a little different. Uh, not wanting to pass forbidden knowledge here. Oh, God in heaven. Nice. Um, it's a little bit different. Nowadays. Um, but I know you're a l into a little more unsayso stuff. So you didn't hear it from me. But there are ways to get your fix. Now that dear old grandpire has left us. I just, I do miss the professionalism, though. But, it's just not my thing. Okay, I think we have completed Neko Arc. I mean, obviously it's 
a hodgepodge job, but it could look worse. And it's 9.49 and we've only completed one pumpkin. Oh dear God in heaven. Okay. Create a new layer. Uh, actually, wait, let me go ahead and cancel that. It looks pretty good, not gonna lie. That'll be going outside, but first, uh, go ahead and get rid of that. Going to go ahead and call it ne Neko Arc Lantern. And then we'll make a new layer. And this is... You are an enjoyer of the unsay so yes, then, um... A certain orc that wears a necktie and glasses may be up your alley. A certain random fellow, but replace the last letter with N. And that's all I am allowed to say as a totally not for, full of forbidden knowledge skeleton. I think he's actually a PNG tuber now. That's the most recent GIF I've seen of him in weeks without eyes. <laughs> uh, okay, so Neko Arc is done. The next one is by a request by Crafty Shrafty. Scrafty. And this is. He gave me multiple options. Which is a mistake because for art specifically, and only art, I will take the easiest option. <laughs> so. Uh, I will go ahead and grab. And this will all be exported off stream. I'll, I'll, I'll do the fidgeting off stream. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with Neko Arc just for a second because I need to go use the restroom. And I suggest y'all do the same because we're going to be here all night, I'm sure. Thankfully, I have nothing to do tomorrow except chores. Give me just one second.
What are we trying to do with my pumpkins? Hmm? Whatever. A trebuchet is a ancient siege device. And uh, I just remembered, I forgot to mention. It's like a better catapult. Yeah, essentially. Um, I forgot to mention that... Uh, I'm actually... <laughs> Oh my god! Ricky came back! I received some brand new holo merch in the mail today. Well, I say brand new, but nothing's brand new when it comes to holo life. It's always about eight months late. Um. <clears throat> I uh, if. I know Frankie follows me on Twitter, so he might be privy to this wall before. Uh, I received my dad mug. My number one dad mug, a.k.a. my Calliope Mori Workaholics mug. It looks nice. It's cool. It's, it's her art. The skulls are a nice touch. It's a bit pink, but at least the handle's really good. And it's gigantic. Like, it, it took a little over... A full mug. A, a full mug and maybe a quarter than what I usually get for coffee. It is, yeah. It's kind of a tasty color, not gonna lie. Goes interestingly, interestingly well with the black coffee I drink normally. But yes, it works. It works. There you go. That's my user review. <laughs> uh, a large mug. A mug. My God, you missed the. I, I hope you saw that clip, Frankie. There's a there's an amazing clip where um, Altair of Tempest put on a game show, and among among the many things that was weird about that little game show, it was a Wheel of Fortune ripoff. But um, there was a five letter question on the board, and Altair was like, "Well, guys." I wonder, can you guess this one? It's time to spin. And then Vesper outright just says a mug. A four letter question, sorry. A mug. Because that was that was a reference to the Tempest. Te the first Tempest merch. Just outright. <laughs> oh God, you have to look it up. It's like Tempest Wheel of Fortune I f or, or something. I forget, but it's a good clip. It's a good good clip of simpler times. But now Grandpire and Magmeister are no longer a part of Hollow Life, which is sad, but I think judging by what I've seen online, they probably did it for their best and it was probably for the best that they left. Uh, for their sake, I mean, not just for the companies. Maybe they weren't happy there. But that's in the past and I know, I know. The man has my utmost respect. I just wish he wasn't so, um, <clears throat> honest about things. You, you would like, you would like this totally non-connected orc I'm speaking of, Frankie, I'm sure. Anyway, moving on. We can say goodbye to NECA Arc finally. Okay. Neko, Neko Ark has been deleted. God rest its soul in hell. We are moving on to the next one, which I actually don't have to look up reference for. But I will be I will be not sticking to the original material. Okay. I'll go ahead and open a new finder window just for this. Neko Ark is everywhere and eternal. So I've heard, so I've feared, so I've seen in my nightmares. Okay, streaming. Oh, I, I don't want to say that out loud. Hold on. Uh, I actually need to go into the archives for this. And I will use that one. Is that the only one I've got? Hang on. Oh, no, I don't need to use that one. 
Also, how's the music, everybody? It's not too intrusive, right? It's just nice and nice and themey. We can always switch to. We can always switch it to regular lo-fi if y'all aren't feeling it all too much. All right. I think I've got what I need. Yes, there's no other version of this. Okay. Your thoughts are way more intrusive? As, as I've seen. As I've seen. <laughs> you know, I have to wonder how confused Kuro was when you introduced me as Ricky T. Maid in her stream. <laughs> Friggin'. I'm not objecting to it, obviously. What are intrusive thoughts? Uh, they're the thought... They're, they're what happens when your internal filter somehow turns off without you knowing, and all of a sudden you have to explain to somebody what a um, un uncharacteristic topic you would bring up, not bring up normally is. So, let me go ahead and just spoil for everybody. Crafty Shrafty gave me many ideas, but the one I went with, because he said it, Crafty wants me to draw me. Now, I won't, I won't be sticking directly to the material here, because in, in all honesty, I've, I've drawn this pixelated numbskull so many times, and that's not a dig, that's a dig in myself, so relax. Um, <clears throat> but, Vessel of Joseph, we it's been so long, it's been so long, my friend. Free me. And you can see my old my old guideline down there. <laughs> That's what I use to match him to all my cards. In addition to some other stuff. A non-pixelated cup of Joe that isn't a deadbeat. Interesting. Exactly. That's why I wanted to do it like that. So what we're gonna do instead is I've drawn this guy a couple times. So, I'm thinking, it, what I'm thinking is, I will just try to draw him as best as I can. Let's see, where is pencil, please? Now, I remember this guy. I remember this guy all too well. Uh, I'm gonna want that. Put him nice and close. There we go. And for the record, all you button haters out there, <laughs> I don't, I, I'm only going to appeal to a couple people. I do use the shortcut buttons on my tablet. Thank you very much. They're very useful. I don't know why everybody is just like, oh, don't just, just, just disable them. Don't use them. If they're useless. Come on, guys. Everything. You got to use every part of the buffalo. Okay. So first. What I'm thinking is I want to do the skull. Hmm. This is going to kind of look like one of my roughs for Cup of Joe. Oh, God. Okay. You use your, you use your shortcuts all the time. Is that not regular? Okay. When it comes to our tablets, Specifically, so my Wacom. If you look up an image of a Wacom Intuos Pro, I believe this is, um, you'll find that it has three buttons along the top side. Um, you can rebind those to become shortcuts. And in my case, what I did was I made it Pen Tool, Select Tool, Eraser, and Fill Tool. So I'm always, I always, I always see people like online, like digital artists, like. Just use your keyboard. Use your left hand. You'll be fine. And I, I and I maybe if you have like a gigantic desk or like a a monstrous organ like computer setup. But I can't see my keyboard at the moment because it rolls out. You have an XP pen and oh okay. I have no idea what that is, but that sounds interesting. Okay, I know what I have to do. Okay, one, two. Okay, so I want to make a decision here. It needs to be nice. And 
I hate to use this term, plump. Okay. Uh, okay, we can be a four to be a little lower because we need a lot of. It's the budget friendly Wacom. Okay, I see. And no, we're not making another uwu face. We are making a skull. So that's sort of a. Mm. I mean, that kind of looks like, yeah, it looks like a big ghost. There we go. That's more skull like we can see the. Your uncle's not going to spare you. Hey, hang out with your family. Familia's first. Jellyfish, yeah, kinda, but it, it works for the, what we need it for. So, as indicated by... You're having trouble trying the skull as well? Yeah. Skulls are very intricate pieces. Like, it, I had to do a lot of research just to figure out exactly the new the proportions I should have as a pixelated skeleton. I think for what it... Uh, yeah, no, I need to do this again. Hold on, I got an idea. Gonna die in three minutes. Okay. Hmm. Ah, shit. Ah, that looks okay, but it's not exactly what we need. Okay, almost. Hmm. <laughs> Flatten out, then start getting curvy. No, okay. No. Flatten out. Start getting curvy. We're gonna we're gonna go with that. Okay. Whew. Alrighty. It's pizza time. Nice. I hope it's good pizza, not you know that acidic kind that I always order somehow. I have I have severe pizza with tower withdrawal, man. Oh my god. I am I have been watching uh, yeah, my my local pizza joints do not know how to get the right tomato sauce, man. Anyway, I have had I've been having serious pizza pizza tower withdrawal <laughs> as of late. Um, like I I why not just make my own pizza? You would be surprised to know that it's hard to track down the materials for that. Okay. Um, saved it. Nice. Uh, let's see. Alright, so... Let me go ahead... Yes, I need to start from there. Hmm. Imagine being addicted to a game plays Dark Souls 300 hours at a time. You're a braver man than I. Okay. I think that's how you draw a treble clef. Yeah. What am I doing? It's right friggin' there. I wonder what game you have the most hours. I can tell you mine. And I, I say it, I, I say it with a little bit of pride and a little bit of pain. <laughs> um, 
I have, in fact, I need to double check that real quick. I can pull it up on Steam right now. But I want to say it's not a good number. <laughs> it's not a healthy number, that's for sure. Where is my beloved? My once and only. Come on, T, T, T. S. Oh, God, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I see your 1,200 hours in Animal Crossing Phantom and raise you 1,926 hours in TF2. And you want to know something? Rookie numbers. Oh, fuck you, Frankie. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I want to... Alright. So, much like most people have a league phase in their life, uh, I had... No shit. I had a TF2 phase. And this said, said TF2 phase wasn't just like, you know, pubbing around at the speed of sound. Uh, let me make that a little more wiki. I actually was part of a clan. Not a serious one, mind you, but like a community, a lo like a host of community servers. And, uh, God, do I even want to say who they were? They were pretty small, thinking back on it, but we knew some big players, so I probably should be, I should shut up about it. Because there was a bit of drama that I had to deal with as well. You sleep in the next 48 minutes? Eh, don't worry about it. This VOD will be back. We'll be here unless I say something extremely unsay so somehow. Which isn't really in my wheelhouse. Okay, what was it? It was basically just... Yeah. Good enough. Suddenly that very thing happens. Did I have to blow them up? No, I mean, of course, I was a soldier main back in the day, and a demo main, and an everything main. Um, but... Back in the day... Um, essentially... You're, you're not gonna fucking believe this. But, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to swear there, but this is bringing up back, back some good memories. <laughs> Not so great ones either. Um, back in the day, I was a part of a clan that literally had such a big falling out that it split the members. You had to choose one of the two admins to keep on following. And you're not going to believe it, but at... At some point, me and Cake share the same house, but we're in different clans. Dumbest mis dumbest move of, of my childhood, but uh, I was like, what, 15? Way too young to be on the internet. I will say that. I was like 15, 17. And me and him spent all of our time, because we were homeschooled, we spent all of our time on our personal computers talking with the guys. I don't know if I would have done anything different back then. I sure as shit do regret spending that much time in front of a computer and just becoming sloth incarnate. Like there's some old photos of myself that I don't want to look I don't look I don't look at. I just don't look at because of how big I was. At the end of the TF2, the clans were split in two. Based and cringe. Kinda, yeah. Um but yeah, there was personalities all around. It was a bunch of a bunch of good times with Minecraft people. I got screwed. We got screwed over by one of our friends when it came to renting a Minecraft server. 
But yeah, that was just drama I did not need. Drama I did not need back in the day. They also tried to get me to play World of Warcraft. I met somebody around my area that played League. I played Call of Duty Black Ops a lot when I was a kid because I had a PS3. <laughs> yeah. Good times, but man, it was it was weird. It was weird to be a part of that drama. I don't keep up with him anymore, obviously. He made it like a whole day without... Oh, <laughs> sorry to break your streak there, pal. Okay. This isn't looking grand. Uh, what can I do here? I can probably erase a little bit off the top. Yes, there we go. Oh man, I had a, I had a coworker who would always, who would always, um, stretch out his yeses. He was a gentleman from, further south than I, and so he had a Mexican dialect. He had a thicker Mexican dialect than I. So every time he would, I would ask him a question. Uh, like I, it would be, it would be a, my my old job is a, a department store, and I would ask him, hey. Hey, um, do you know how to look up the price on this? And you say, yes, let me go ahead and show you. Or like, yeah, we don't have that anymore. It was, he is a, he was an interesting guy. Really, really stubborn about one particular thing that I won't get into, but. Really cool, really cool guy. Really happy he got to, he, he was willing to like show me the ropes. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I got a lot of interesting folk that I've met over the years, especially in customer service. Like I know this old guy um, who was actually from Portugal. He was a wonderful, wonderful person to talk to, and I still have his phone number, but I just haven't had the time. He's a far older gentleman. He's about as old as my father. But he was very much, he was very much a negative individual, you know. He spoke of finer times, of desperate times, of times he doesn't want a Greek live being in America. You wish you were from Portugal? Well, if you were, if you were from Portugal like him, you would literally get all the ladies. Dude had a freaking harem. And I shit you not, he had a freaking harem at all times. He was a Chad old man. Some would call womanizer, but somehow the ladies always flocked to him. Okay. How do we make this pumpkinified? We managed to get all the skull, but how do we make this into a pumpkin? And he had the most interesting manner, like dialect. It would be like, Oh, 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 yes, 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 I, I have to agree. He was a very interesting individual. I don't know if I'll ever talk to him again. Maybe I'll visit him sometime, but... I'm just too busy. There's a lot of people in my rear view, rear view mirror now that I just don't have time for. But I try to keep up with everybody I can. you will be back later? Okay, Ryan. Bot will be here if I'm not. Uh, let's see. I guess now we just have to pumpkinify it, right? Okay, let's think about this here real quick. How does this become a pumpkin face? Realistically, what we would do is just get rid of the skull outline. But that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to just draw the note eyes and the nose. This would just kind of be... Maybe invert it or like, oh no, wait, I've seen some pumpkins like this, where they give it an outline by like, like, um, piloning the pumpkin face. Plants vs. Zombies. Hi, Banana Man. You can't even be in your rear view on your hood. <laughs> Ready to, ready to freaking 
ambush me with another Pekora v Nakiri match. My god, Frankie, we need to do that again sometime. At, at, le at the very least, on stream. Because that was... Those were... Those were like... One, you're a chill dude. And I appreciate that, especially as a fighting gamer, a fighting game enthusiast. You were really chill when we played. Even though I... I was unrelenting with my demonic energy. <laughs> You're a really chill dude, chill dude to fight, and I hope the guy, I hope the everybody here gets to see it someday. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to outline. So first, we're going to make a bridge. You only have room in your bag for chill. Good way to live life. Trust me. Speaking of somebody who has barely any chill to give. You know, I don't show it on stream. But I am a very antsy person. Like, whenever I go out into the public. I just don't have any chill. I suspect everybody is... Either carrying a firearm or... <laughs> well, okay, to be fair, it's Texas. It's Texas, right? So you kind of have to assume everybody's still playing it like a, like it's the old cowboy days. Okay, let me make these a little bit wider. There we go. Okay, now I see what we can do. But... You know, it's... I'm on, I'm on edge most of the time. Yeah, see, that's 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 exactly what I do. I'm I'm anxious all the time, but I know for a fact that's not healthy for me. So instead of being anxious all the time, I just kind of I kind of take it as easy as I can, but I'm still on high alert at all times. It doesn't help when I have to like actually sleep for a big event because the second I know something big is going to happen the next day, I'm just like, "Okay, cool. I'm not I'm not sleeping tonight. I'm not sleeping tonight. That's just not going to happen." You beat PVZ1. Well done. Well done. I'm sure being the first one, it's not easy to do. Like, usually first game are always where they shake it out. Like, work out all the kinks. And then in the second game, they usually get it right. Okay. And then... We need to add a bit more... Leverage here. And then... We're almost done. We're almost done with the outline. We're almost done with legitimizing this pumpkin. Nice. Okay. We now have our skull outline that is supported by several tethers. Next, what we're going to do is carve out the eye sockets. You've been watching? Okay. Alright. Lurkers are always welcome. Lurker myself, except as of recently, I've actually been trying to get into a... Oh my god, I just remembered. <laughs> I only talked about this on Twitter, so I'll go ahead and share this with you now. So, um, I've actually been... I've actually been... So, okay, 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 okay. Let me start from the very beginning. Kindly, put your mother's knife down. <laughs> Kuro doesn't need your blood on her hands for negligence of a child. <laughs> and I sure as shit don't need to be the daycare attendant that goes to jail for it. Um, I have been... Yeah, a great show, by the way. Um, what's it? I need to finish it. I need to, like, watch, go watch it somehow. 
I don't think I have a Disney Plus subscription anymore, sadly. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Right. So, it's okay, you're immortal. I thought you had a fear of being immortal. Anyway, so, you, you call it what you may. I think I'm just, I'm just kind of living my best life as, a, as an avid chatter. But I have been active in other people's chats for a while now. Like, I think, Ryan, you actually may have seen me in Maury's chat. If you, I know you're not here, but I think I saw you in Maury's chat. Um, I got, uh, uh, she said my name, Ricky T. But then again, I brought up something very relatable as a musician. Um, then I show up in Kai's chat every now and again. And it's because she actually gave me the courage to start talking. She's very approachable. Kai Saikota of Idol AN. Very much a person of the of the earth. Very nice to watch. And that I recently started branching out even more. You know, I started talking in Kuro's chat because you introduced me to her. I talk in Phantom's chat, that's how I got to know Phantom. And in and in one aspect, yes, that's called social networking. I just call it living my best life, not being afraid of everybody anymore. You gotta call your mom. Good, good on you. Good on you for calling your mom. Good to get your social on. Exactly. Yeah. Like I didn't have social ability, social skills, before I started working as a suit salesman. Like I had rudimentary customer service skills, but suit salesman, you've got to work with people one on one. Like, legit, you will not have any breaks from humanity working as a as a face-to-face -face salesman be it insurance suits or anything of the like people are your business i should have stopped there people are your business when it comes to suit face-to-face -face sales and you need to maintain your composure at all times which is what makes it terrifying it's like being on stage at all times Seven days a week. Yeah, I know what a Funko Pop is. So, after my suit salesman job, I realized, okay, you know what? One of the great ways I can get out there is by interacting with people's chat. And lo and be friggin' hold, I'm actually a decent person to have as a comedy partner. Kind of like how I have Frankie and Ryan. Um, I've... You're starting a collection? Nice, nice. Um, I've kind of become the foil to many people's... Saber. <laughs> like, legit, I am responsible for some of the jokes in Kai Psychota's stream, which is a cool idea, which is kind of cool. Although, she, she has a running joke where everybody's locked in the basement, a writer's basement. Um, and then, just recently, um, <laughs> I decided to, I decided to stop by a Hollow Stars chat. No, not, not much, Ryan. Just talking about um, how I've, how I've like, uh, the skull's done, by the way, I ish. I do need. Oh God, I need to outline a lot more. Actually, now that I think about it, I need to get started. Um, I we, we're just talking about how uh, how I've become a bit more bold and started appearing in other people's chats. It's hard to talk and draw at the same time. How does Ina do it? Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I was talking about how I've been quote unquote social networking by entering other people's chats. When in reality, I just want to, I'm there to make them laugh. Like, that is my entire goal with anything I do on this website, is just to make people laugh. You know? And I realized I'm a good talker after my time in a suit salesman gig. So I was like, okay, well, why don't I just use this quote-unquote power for good and help other people make content, quote-unquote. Exactly, yes. That's what, I was, that's what I was discussing. Much like I have you, Ryan, and I have Frankie... I became, I actually have become other people's go-to joke, 
go to comedy partners. Like, I have a decent... I have a decent rapport over on Kai Saikota's channel. At least I'd like to think so, but I doubt it. I doubt she even knows I exist past the streams. Um, I stop by Kuro's stream every now and again to make her laugh. Kuro Ishida, Frankie's uh, quote-unquote mom and sometimes number one dad. And... Oh, God, that's disgusting. I need to redo that. And chatting is chatting and making people laugh is how I met Phantom, which is cool. Although I think more it was more like homie stalking or what was it? I, I think I gave <laughs> I may or may not have given a nuke to Phantom during one of the Smash Brothers streams. That might have helped. And by a nuke, I mean Kirby powers. Okay, I can fix this. Yeah, that might have helped my my uh, relationship there. Um, but it's just been nice, like getting to interact with these people. Like, not in a parasocial way, mind you. Like, I'm fully aware. I'm a. In a weird way, it's like everybody else might be there for different reasons, but I'm there just to make somebody laugh. And the fact that it's another streamer is kind of cool. Like, it, it, it makes me kind of part of their act. Maybe I'm trying to be... I'm trying to do my best to avoid being the heckler. Like, I try to give them... I try to give them easy lobs to start building off of. And unfortunately... <laughs> I actually went up to the big leagues recently. And went into Haka's chat. Haka Boinzing. Bazoin. Bazoin. Of Hollow Stars. And, um... <laughs> I may have started a couple things. It may have already been cursed. So here's from Phantom. I remember you followed me on Twitter and I thought it was, it was another bot, but I looked at your profile and it seemed like you were a real person, so I followed you back. Ah. Yeah, I getcha. Interesting, yeah. Finding other humans on Twitter don't exist as, as I've learned very quickly okay so this ain't bad this ain't bad okay do i need to do the outlines on the other side as well or do you guys think this is okay should we move on yeah um i think it looks good okay phantoms gives it gives it a thumbs up ryan as always says flip a coin I think because we're running short on time, I should leave it as is. So that's our cup of Joe right there. All right, Crafties is done. Panito 3.0. Twitter never heard of it. You're better off not, never having heard of it. <laughs> Trust me. It may be good for somebody like me who's social networking the hell out of his channel, but anything. <laughs> Anything but Twitter is better than Twitter. Unfortunately, Mastodon isn't that great. I found out nobody's on there. Goodbye, Joe. You'll never be seen again. Uh, Benito's 3.0 said a skull. We just did one. You don't have a Twitter and only check out Twitter accounts of streamers like you. Okay, if it lets you. I only know X. God, that's a Godzilla reference. I apologize. <laughs> Godzilla Final Wars. My God. What a meme of a movie. If you just want... If you want... If you want something to drink, drink a beer to, that's a good movie to put on. Okay. So, a skull. I think we can go ahead and go a little spooky with this one. Okay, um... So, what we're gonna do is... Alright, to be fair, Frankie, 
you, I can't take credit for indulging myself on, uh, I can't take credit alone for indulging myself on Godzilla stuff. Okay, how do I want to do this? You can thank Cake for getting me into Godzilla. Cake had a Godzilla phase. That was so long and so financially not okay. Mm. Uh, he has a tiny figurine collection of Godzilla. Uh, let's see. I want to do it like so. How do I want to do this? As Matt Mercer would say. Does that look okay? Nah, that doesn't look right. Hold on. Yeah, banana. <laughs> if you want to you see Godzilla totally throw a Zilla, it's even better. That's true, yes. If you want to see a terrible CGI version of Godzilla get smacked down by the OG, that is a good movie for you. Also, the... <laughs> The frickin' aliens. <laughs> oh, the frickin' aliens are amazing. It's crazy. Howdy, noon. Happy Halloween. Hope y'all are doing well. Oh, man, let's see. How do I... Happy Spooktober, yeah! How do I want to... Oh, I know what I can do. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Yeah, we want to do something like this. A car check engine indicator light. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, we've been having non-stop car troubles lately. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, our family car threw like three belts in a week. It's bad. But we're, we're doing okay for the most part. Okay. Okay, I want to go ahead. That's kind of cool. Believe it or not, that's what your nose looks like. That oh, fuck shit. <laughs> That's what I get for twirling around my digital Okay. Minor question, does this look good enough as a skull? Or do I need to draw another skull? Like, do I need to draw a proper lower jaw, upper jaw kind of skull to appease Benito? I think this is cheating, in, in my honest opinion. Like, even I'm more detailed than this. I wish you had a sm- I want a nose too, Frankie. So you can uh, smell what the rock is cooking. You wouldn't re recognize as a skull if you, unless you told me? Okay. That solves it. Yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and draw something a little more detailed then. Give the lower draw a try. Uh, 
Oh, God in heaven. Suka says they love your model, by the way. Oh, are you talking about the... Hold on. Oh, thank you. Wait, who, who's Suka? Hmm... Okay, this is a very dumb idea, but it might just work. Yep, it's a dumb idea. No, we're not gonna do that. A skull, a skull, a skull. Oh, I could just... Ah, okay. Cool. Thank him for me. Okay. can make a little more simpler one. This looks like another drawing we're going to try and get to later tonight. That looks good. Sort of like a cutesy skull. And then I just don't draw the nose, and we kind of got a nice chibi skull. Sort of a ghosty kind of look, but I think it works. Kind of like mine, yeah. Okay, now the question is... Does it stay cutesy like this, or do we give it, like, mean eyes? Hmm. Well, let's see. We've got a Neko Arc one out there, so that's already an atrocity to mankind. I don't think we need two horror pumpkins. So let's go ahead and outline this one. And this one, we also have to... Okay. First, we'll carve out the eyes... Ever since you played Pecora, your answer to everything has always been Rocket Launcher. I mean, to be fair, it's effective, yes, but have you ever considered collateral damage, Frankie? You know, backblast and all that? <laughs> Ugh. Let's zoom in a little bit more. It's not collateral, it's <laughs> That's how you think like an American. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's severely fucked up. Why did I say that? Oh my god, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell for that one. Hmm. Oh, you guys got me tearing up too. Dear god. Yeah. Ah, uh, God. Oh yeah, by the way, Noon. Scream, um, they finally added Zombies mode to TF2. Officially. <laughs> Among other things, you can now do frickin' Battle Royale mode in TF2. They removed the player cap. I've been thinking about reinstalling it, but I just don't have the time to play it. <laughs> There's been a lot of crazy shit that's been going down in the world of TF2. 
even I'm having a tar hard time coming to terms with it. Frankie, no. <laughs> oh my god. You know what happened, speaking of the accursed red object with a visor? <sighs> okay. I had... I had a boomer moment in the middle of going to my going to my faithly duties. You you know what? You got a point. You got a point. I could technically play with stream viewers. That's true. Like maybe I could do like a man versus machine with viewers. That could be interesting. Zombies, I would definitely run into pubs. But at least with man versus machine, we could probably like fill out a, a friends only server. Um, I, I went to church and one of the priests I have, of course, many of the priests I have actually are not, um, fluent English speakers. Like around here, Mexican is the more common uh, language they speak first. And this particular, this particular priest is, was is um originally from africa so he's got an even thicker accent and only one time one time did he say among us but because of his thick accent it actually came out as omogos and the freaking kids in front of me were trying to hold themselves from laughing I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up, don't... God. <laughs> yeah, no shit, he said Obogos. Like, just because of his thick, his thick African dialect. I felt so bad for the man. He knew not what he had, when he had uncovered. Okay, so... First, we'll start with the connecting points. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, noon. <laughs> Is it? Okay. Fix that up. Oh man, I'm looking forward to playing Have a Nice Death. On, when, on what is it, Wednesday? It's been a long time since I've played that game. It's kind of like nostalgia for me now. And hearing this track right now just reminds me of it. Okay. Now we can just paint over the bridges, like so. Oh yeah, I, I just forgot to mention, oh, we're not going to get to them, now that I think about it, never mind. Uh, so unfortunately, how do you, excuse me, my upper jaw seems to have come on, seems to have come, become glued. Hi Addison. Uh, we are drawing pumpkins, or I should say carving them, because we do not want to deal with pumpkin goop. This is Pinito's request. I would ask if anybody else had any other requests, but we're already going to be late, going going well into the night with just the requests I have to do. Besides, we've only got so much room for pumpkins. You have a deal with your siblings that you'll carve whatever they want as long as then they get rid of the goop. Smart. Smart business tactics right there. Okay. Now that's a nice looking skull. It's a bit off center, but uh, I can fix that actually. Through the power of cheaty doodles, I can fix that. <laughs> actually, I don't even need to do that. 
boom. All is right with the world. Okay. Uh, that will become... Uh, let me just adjust myself here. Oh, for God's sake. There it is. Benito. Pumpkin. Want to get a slice of pumpkin pie? That looks neat. Thank you, thank you. I'm getting better at this. Ugh. You know, ironically, as a coffee enjoyer, I have yet to have a pumpkin spice latte this Halloween season. Contemplating whether or not I should be just a rebel about it and never get it, or... Maybe one of these days just give in. I don't know. It's too sweet for me, if I'm being honest. Okay, so that's our pinito pumpkin. The next one, let me just switch on my phone here. Aha! Your luck. <laughs> um, the next one's gonna be difficult. Although I think I can do it in time, in a decent amount of time. The next one is Cat O Lan Turn by requested by Glitched Phantom. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> a cat... Pumpkin. I mean, there's a couple different ways I can think about doing it. We've already done one with a cursed cat eyes, so... And there's not much really getting... much getting around that, honestly. But this one, I think, we can add some whiskers. Hit me with it. I'm all non-existent ears. Quite a bit of time to think. I'm going to try and attempt my own. Let's see. So first, I want to draw the eyes. We're going to make these a little more plump in an effort to make them less nickel arc. If only I could. My brain is always on fire. Always thinking, always moving, even when I want to go to sleep. Okay, now... I think what I want to do is just... Mm, oh, that's right. There we go. And then... Like so. And then it needs to have whiskers. Uh, no. I will never... <laughs> I mean, 
there's a first for everything, but I don't think I want to add uh, mind-altering substances to that. I already drank beer, thank you. I think I've done enough. Honestly, from what I've heard from Cake, or at least... No, Cake didn't do anything, that's right. So Cake, when he visited Huner, did not actually partake. Um, he saw it, but he did not partake. And I don't think I would either, just on the basis that I've heard some people freak out. <laughs> and I would rather be drunk than high, if I'm being honest. But to each their own. Can't stop you from living your life as is. The only thing you drink is the blood of my enemies. <clears throat> Let me read that in the canon voice of Frankie Bagman. The only thing I drink is the blood of my enemies. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, uh, yes, cannon. <laughs> and then... I'm actually going to... Yeah, I can see something definitely wrong with those. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. Move them down just a tad. That's actually canon now. Please tell me you've been harassing people with that voice. <laughs> actually, that's a horrible way of, of putting it, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so... And this time... I'm going to try and incorporate that tuft... Little. You will now? Oh no, what have I done? <coughs> okay. Like the first the first time you ever get to VC with Kuro, if you ever do, it's just gonna be all non-stop Randy Savage. You're gonna have to snap into a Slim Jim almost every friggin' minute just to keep up that voice. Okay, and then... I guess we can just go ahead and fill stuff out now. And then... You know what, just for the sake of it... Aw, that's friggin' adorable, damn it. <laughs> She'll finally be disappointed in you. <laughs> Frankie, is that a goal you really want to have? <laughs> the eyes and the nose are still odd to you? I can see why. It's just because they're lopsided. Ah, that looks wrong. I mean... It's kinda... A little too much right here. Not enough over here. Give him some evil eyebrows. I mean, I could try. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. I mean, I know cats are evil incarnate, but I think this one just deserves to be loved. We've already got an echo arc out there haunting everybody's nightmares. This one can be the cute one. There we go. This eye is a bit lopsided. Okay. 
Yeah, I can see why, yeah. There we go, and then this needs to be rounded out a bit more. Okay. Looking at the preview, I'd say that's actually a really good cat, cat right there. I just need to smooth out a couple of details. What you think, Phantom? If you're still here, that is. Okay, and then we need to give a little more lenience here. Looks good. Excellent, excellent. We'll go ahead and move, start outlining it then. And again, I want to thank, I want to thank Garu underscore VT for being an absolute. Got a bounce. That is an excellent pumpkin. Thank you, Addison. Thanks for stopping by. Just working on yours. Gotcha, gotcha. Nice to have somebody drawing along with me. An actual artist drawing along with a not actual artist. Uh, yeah, rest well. Thank you for tuning in. I know it's late for all y'all, except Phantom, who it's currently like 9 p.m. I guess that's kind of late, but this ain't bad. It's 11 o'clock, but we still got two more <laughs> great artists in my eyes. Mm. I, I, I'll, I'll take the compliment and move on with my life. Thank you. Really though, Cake, Cake is the artist in the family. Like if I, if I asked him to draw a pumpkin for you, I think, I mean, Cake would be able to draw the whole damn pumpkin. <laughs> I'm just drawing designs on a, on a PNG here. But thank you nonetheless. Okay. So what we are doing is outlining. So first, we're going to outline the eye here. Fair. Man, I still can't believe my own father. So, if y'all missed it, my own father actually stopped by during the poem stream. It seems you've uh, made a new friend there, Noon. I asked him about it a afterwards, and he said, "Well, it's simply because the only reason the reason I stopped by is because, unlike most of the stuff you do, that's actually my world." And that makes sense, because. You know, he was a very big source of, like, literature back when I was growing up. He showed me, a, a, like, a, a transcript he would read on, like, his, his college grounds to impress people. Okay, I need... So, if you want anyone to blame for all the flower language I got, that would, that would be him. I think, depending on how you look at it. Okay, let me just narrow this down. And you can thank him for not putting me in public school. I thank him and my mother for that every single day I'm alive because, my God, uh, if I'm being honest, I don't know if I would be here. I was not good with bullying as a kid. It's kind of dark to say, but it's the truth. 
as I finish this very cute pumpkin. Mm. The other thing that's also been a major part of my life is cats. Very many cats. I'd like to think if I if I didn't choose to become a skeleton as a VTuber model, although I think the skeleton VTuber model chose me, I more than likely would have been a cat. Because, you know, cats are chill. Sure, they're fiendish little devils, but you can't help but love them. And they do really know how to sing. Maybe not well, much like myself. But they can definitely caterwaul and have everybody hear it. That's for damn sure. Uh, cat? That's a great question. I think... Not a realistic cat, but like cat boy leaning towards, like, Nekomata. Because I do, I do do have some cat mannerisms, like, when the world is too busy, I'm just like, ah, screw it. Draw Ricky as a cat. Uh, okay. Uh, what have I done? Anyway, I... It, like, when the world becomes... Um, 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 uh, um, <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? It doesn't help that I've taken a picture of myself in a suit. Anyway, long story short, I think I would make an interesting cat boy for three reasons. Couple Garfield, yes, that was an experiment that went horribly wrong. <laughs> okay, time to traumatize everybody. Thanks for bringing that one up. Look at him. Look at him. Gaze into the very abyss. Hell hath no fury like my Garfield cart playthrough. I stayed up all night drawing that. That is Cupo Joe as a Garfield persona. And I drew that while Calliope Mori was drawing, was attempting to make miniature art. So in an essence, we were both making cursed product that night. I can't even say good times. <laughs> Perfection. I I'm sorry. Let me reiterate. Perfection. See, I can even I can even do the full friggin' um what is it? Puss in Boots accent. Like I'm I, I could I could literally replicate that. Uh anyway, yes. I have a bunch of mannerisms that resemble cats. I've had about fifty cats throughout my lifetime. <laughs> Not all of them domesticated, mind you. And I have a very, very major kindred spirit with cats. Felines of all kinds. They're wonderful creatures. And I've, I've been very sad. I've been very blessed. I shouldn't say sad. I've been very blessed to have multiple pass through in my lifetime. Multiple very good gatos. Wonderful creatures. Double same, yeah. You know, I have a wonderful story about one of my cats who's sadly no longer with us. I mean, Halloween time may as well reminisce a bit. But last winter, when the power went out, myself and my brother were huddled in the front half of the house that has a working furnace. And my legs were getting really cold, despite having a sleeping blanket on them. On them. And one of our biggest cats, 
His name was Splotches. On account of his little main... His main coon with an attitude look. God, that doesn't look like a cat ear anymore. Whatever. Um, but my our biggest cat, Splotches... As if knowing I was freezing despite the sleeping blanket, came over and put his 100 degree body on my legs, finally warming them up despite despite the frigid weather. <sighs> he was an absolute jerk sometimes, but I I miss him. I miss him dearly. He was a he was one of those lovable cats that would love you at some point and then betray you the next but he was a good cat we've had a very very strange world of cats Um. Okay. I think that's the right place to put them, unless... If I slice open a pumpkin, then I see the underline, not the overline, right? Or am I just being crazy? Very current story about me, or not a story, but it's something you did back in high school. All these cat conversations are reminding you of it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, do tell, says the ghost. Go ahead and make these underlined. I've only got all afterlife to listen to it. <laughs> you come back and you're still working on Neko Arc. No, it's a different cat. <laughs> this is Glitched Phantom's cat. Or I should say Cat O Lantern. Three years of high school, you wore cat ears every day. I think back on it, and I cringe so much. I don't know why I did it. Wow. You were that girl, huh? That's that's kind of kind of baller. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Bold. And cute. Yeah, as Mimsy says, cute. <laughs> <laughs> Sad shark fact. Sharks cannot play the guitar. Screenshot and post to spread awareness. How do you explain Gargura playing ukulele then, huh? I'm just kidding. I mean, it's a... It's... Everybody's got their embarrassing thing from, from their childhood. I'm trying to think of... Oh, son of a... F All right. Hey, Phantom. You're not going to get made fun of for cat ears by me. You want to know why? I'll tell you frickin' why. Hold on. I want to see something here. I wouldn't happen to have a certain item stored in the in the basement, would I? You see, girl... <laughs> okay, I need to see. I need to see if I've got a prop that will work for this. Excuse the... Excuse the obvious issue afoot. Do I have something here that will accurately display how much of a fucking dork I was? No? No? Nope. Alright, you know what? That can work. That can work, why not? <clears throat> My lady. Yep, I was that jerk odd, jerk off. I tried wearing fedoras 
non-ironically. And I know. I tried wearing fedoras non-ironically. I wore a trench coat a lot of places. I never owned a single bit of suit slacks until recently. I was a fedorian at some point. I regret those days, but then I looped back around and became a gentleman. Somehow. I became a suit salesman. <laughs> and just continued down the dark path. Well, there's a difference between being able to wear a fedora and being a fedorian. Fedorian is you're obsessively like trying to live in an era you don't belong. But at the same time, instead of like full committing and buying a suit, you're just wearing a trench coat and a hat and thinking that you're part of the mafia. Your pro, what your proto man hat about? Mmm, still, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't think of one three-digit number without thinking of a fighting game input. Yeah, same. I'm starting to get that curse actually. Like as soon as I think of, as soon as I think of, <laughs> what the fuck was it? As soon as, as soon as somebody says four, it, like two one. 214 or 2124 I just immediately I'm like, oh, okay, that's an that's a I'm I I need some help. <laughs> yeah, the old the old guard of being a Fedorian was being self-righteous, thinking you're always right because you simply wore what's best, but in fact you did not wear what was best, you wore what you could afford, or what your mother would get you. And then I found out how to dress properly. You saw somebody use 623 and immediately dropped anything in the window of his teeth. A DP input. Oh my god. Oh, that does trigger something in me. Oh, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and paint this in, actually. That's cute. That's friggin' cute. Ah. Uh, that's the first thing I that's the first time I ever made anything adorable. Wake up DPs, yeah, exactly. It's a curse. It's a goddamn curse. All right. Uh, this right ear kind of suffered a bit, but we need to move on because we're over time now. So there's the glitched phantom cattle lantern. I'll tell him to pray to God I don't die. <laughs> uh, that's how you wake up every day with a 623 heavy 623 light punch. The unblockable uppercut. The unbeatable up wake up uppercut. Okay. Alright, now I need to go grab some reference from a thumbnail I've used. All right, where is what exactly I'm looking for? The cosmos. Somewhere within the cosmos is the related image that I need. I need to, I need to, I need to ask my father if we can continue watching that. It's so enlightening and at the same time relaxing watching that with him. Because it, that is legitimately one of the few programs like the few broadcasts, the few shows where everybody in the room shuts the hell up because no, everybody knows like myself, Cake and my dad, everybody knows shut up and listen because you can't explain it better than Carl Sagan. <clears throat> you get hit once and you think it's all over because you used a main chip. Ah, and you have a second main who is currently the weakest character in the game. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't keep the pressure, then you lose. Yeah. Sometimes you wake up with a full screen from Tatsumaki too. 
<laughs> now that's just that's just going in ball uh you know what i'm gonna finish that sentence uh, that's going in recklessly and i appreciate that i appreciate that as a ken main full screen tatsu and yet it somehow connects those are the most satisfying hits for me okay uh where is my fighting games folder Guilty Gear Strive. I have played one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> I'm coming like a wrecking ball. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, and six. I have participated in six different fighting game communities by being a streamer. I've played Dragon Ball Fighters, Guilty Gear Strive, Idol Showdown, Killer Instinct, 23 and the SNES, Street Fighter 2, and TMNT X Justice League, although I technically have also played Tournament Fighters. Are you cultured? I mean, you're cultured enough to be able to dust loop. I don't know how to dust loop. But let's pull up the man of the hour here. Blaze Blue Central Fiction for a stream. I will put that on the list, but I don't have money to pay for it. Ah, oh, he's a wet pee. Hold on. I need to fix this up. Okay. Video stuff. Art project files. And I need this to be a PNG now, please. I friggin' love GIMP. Such a godsend. Thank you all for staying up so late with me, by the way. I appreciate it. I know it's a work night, so maybe y'all are... Uh, some of y'all are gonna have to... You don't like tag. BB tag isn't your favorite. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I, I always appreciate y'all donating your time to me, especially... <laughs> Yeah, I, w I always appreciate y'all hanging out. Um, we're going to take another quick break before we get into the last two of tonight. So if you got to go refresh your drinks, grab some snacks, maybe do so because we might be going until uh, 1230 my time. This is going to be a long one, but I don't want to have to make a part two of the pumpkin carving stream. So let's take a small break.
Hello all. What has transpired? Have we won the war yet? Let's see. <laughs> okay, fighting game shenanigans. Somebody died. Savannah's gonna try and stay awake. They should have blocked. Uh, Frankie got outed as a vampire bag. Uh, thank you, Lake. Hmm. Japanese style music playing. The Shinigami is approaching, my friend. Hmm. I suggest. Hmm. That's a fine question. Well, tell you what, I'll swing by the gate to Kahena, see if he's there. If they're not, then you might be fucked. Otherwise, I would try to convince them to go back. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> don't worry. Maybe maybe there's a local priest somewhere that can resurrect him for about 50,000 gold. Killing Moon Akuma. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> if I find them, what am I gonna do? I am going to tell them to turn right back around and try to march back up because it didn't work for me. Maybe it'll work for you, pal. Uh, otherwise, I may maybe I'll give I'll give them the Gehenna hello and just say, "Good luck, you're fucked." <laughs> Just like they told me. I don't know. I haven't tried it. They say there's a never-ending abyss on the other side of the bridge. So, you know, I, I'd like to keep my calcium intact. Okay. 2H Tatsu Heavy Raging Demon Combo. Uh... <laughs> Would you like to bring your party back member from the be from from back from beyond? Basically, a ghost should be fine, yes. But then again, a ghost is never really is fine if you think about it. I'm snuck and need a bit or something like that. I've only heard Kuro reference it. I've actually never. I think I listened to the Stuck in the Abyss one time when they debuted. Uh, okay. Sadly, I am I'm not an avid Niji Sanji fan. I check occasionally on them. I see the odd clip, but uh, the boys were never really my thing. All right, Savannah, thank you for sticking around as long as you did. We appreciate it always, but don't forget to take care of yourself. All right. Sleep is not for the weak. It is for the mighty and everybody needs it at some point. Some of us don't even have a choice to take it. <laughs> So, if you gotta rest, rest, please. Have a good night. Dudley's theme and Jazzy New York City. Yeah, those are good. Those are good. I mean, Jazzy NYC is, is epic because of Evil Moment 37, but my favorite is actually, um... My favorite is actually uh, June's theme. Uh, if you can find it, a spectral lantern would probably help light your way. And uh, maybe a spectral sword in case some ghost zombies try to eat you. June's theme is good, yeah. And he's a slick-ass character. Doesn't deal shit in terms of damage, though, so I kind of stick with Dudley. I played Third Strike a long time ago, but Dudley's theme is good. Oh uh, yeah, if you got enough sticks, you can probably just light your way or, you know, collapse the, the abyss in itself. And then, well, you'll have Gehenna run on top of you because you managed to destroy all the supports. You know what? Maybe don't take dynamite down to the abyss where there might be supporting structure for the entire city of Gehenna. You know what? You know what? Maybe, maybe the abyss just isn't worth it for you. I hate how I can li I can write lore in a matter of seconds. It's a curse. A DM's curse at that. Bring back Q, you cowards. Amen. 
Although I've never played Q, honestly. I don't know anything about Q. Jun and Yang's theme, yeah. I just like how it's like a... It's like an Asian-sounding version of the James Bond theme. Not Asian. Is, would an Asian be the correct term to use? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that would be the correct term. Uh, maybe more like Chinese. Chinese, because it's got that... I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't identify what type of, like, nationality it's supposed to be. The next pumpkin, thank you for reminding me, Mimsy, is actually... Uh, by Frankie Bagman. It's gonna be Faust. It's gonna be Faust, baby. He explodes. <laughs> ah. As the as they say, what got the I I get it now. Where is it's in a different folder altogether. Least favorite song, GG song is tied between Safe Intoxication, Perfection Can't Please Me, and Trigger. Okay. I'm surprised Daisuke Iwatar, Iwa, Iwish, Ishiwatari actually has some down, some low low notes. Were they early on in the GG series, or were they are they recent? There it is. Oh god. Howdy boy. Oh god, how am I gonna draw you? How is that supposed to be a pumpkinable face? How will this work? Jacko's strive theme, trigger is Geo's theme. And safe intoxication is from Exard. Exard's, Exard's third face. Let me see what that go. Let me go see what that looks like. Oh god, the Neko Arc tab is still open. Okay. Uh, Faust, GG, Exard. That's just the same face. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that makes sense. It, it's essentially exactly what I would do. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I might be able to see how this could work. I might have a dumb idea here. Cut out his actual face and then place a bag on top. Hmm, that sounds like spoilers to me, Ryan. <laughs> I got an idea. Um, Okie dokie, I have one minute idea. So first, we need the bag. Next, we need the spikes. Uh, the bag is not center, so we're going to move this layer a little bit. There we go. This is going to turn out like... <laughs> Doodle Bob, <laughs> for some reason, I'm sure. And then, what we'll do... Is... Let's see... And I have, I have actually listened to Jacko's theme in Strive. It's very poppy, not my kind of thing. Oh no, Phantom! <laughs> it's okay, maybe you can salvage it by cutting and by copying and cutting. 
Hopefully. Hope to God you can do that. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. Wrong layer skill. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's a pain every artist understands, even the amateur ones. Okay. So assume then, what if we... Hmm. How do we make a starburst? Unless... Now that's way too big. <laughs> Looks don't matter. Attractive people. Money doesn't matter. Rich people. Guy crush doesn't matter. A happy chaos main. <laughs> Photogenic. Let's see. Think, 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 think. I can be creative about this. Can I be? Okay, this is a dumb idea, but it could work. Damage doesn't matter. A Potemkin player you encountered on my way to Arby's. <laughs> yeah, I was just on my way to Whataburger and you dissed my my man. I, I, I don't know if you heard about this, but I actually decided my main was going to be uh, Potemkin. <laughs> Adachi Chaos Shigorath. I've yet to seriously play him. So here's the idea right now. No, that wouldn't work either. Okay. Okay, we're going to do that. And then what we'll do is... Yeah. Yeah. No chaos slabbing? Absolutely, we will. I don't back down from a challenge like just like that. Um, chaos will be difficult to learn. Don't get me wrong. But I still want to give him another shot. Yes, uh, my second my second pick is May. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately for the whole universe, my second pick is actually May. How do we pumpkinify this? So my idea right now is to have this kind of glue to <laughs> Hell yeah, just for being a Potemkin meme, I am cons I am up there with the Marines and their crayons. Uh, how do I pumpkinify this? Okay, I have an idea. We must meet on the battlefield now. Out. So cold, I leave the water to heat up and then burns your hands. Ay, ay, ay. OK. 
Okay. Those maroons. Uh. Well, you never heard that joke? Marines eating crayons? That's an old one. Okay. This is a weird idea here. And then... Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, there's all sorts of... There's all sorts of ribbing in the armed forces. I've only heard it secondhand, obviously. But one of the main adages is that. Um, you have the chair force. Um, the ro the um, <laughs> the pavers, and the marines who are constantly eating. Um, what is it? Crayons. There's a lot of armed forces ribbings out there. You just gotta look for them. Um, this is a bit of a weird idea, but I think it might work. <clears throat> 34? That does sound like a high score to me. Chair Force is still probably your favorite. Okay. Exact day the towers fell. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay. That surprisingly looks decent. Reporting for the U.S. I can't see anything. What do you think, Frankie? You think I did your? I think you think I did your predecessor proud? Or you think there's some? There's still something. <laughs> it's an operation word. <laughs> Born to dark day until recent times, my friend. Everybody can be a victim of circumstance when it comes to their birthday. It's beautiful. Nice. Okay. So now all I have to do is add around more pumpkin carving lines and some more gap stop gaps. Had to get really creative with this one, not gonna lie. Okay, actually I'm gonna make it 2-2. Two, two just because I kind of want to give this pumpkin a little bit of an ethereal feeling. Like, how the hell is that thing standing there? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw the bridges first. Make three down this way. Mm, too long. I've yeah your your uh your trauma with Miss Finer is well recorded on this channel. That that faithful Johnny stream man caused so much grief to both of us. I had to learn that I am in fact a filthy May main and a Potemkin main and you had to watch me absolutely junk it with with uh with happy chaos and Johnny I wish I wish I liked Johnny but he's got a lot of cool aspects like aesthetic wise yes but his moves are garbage like there was no logic in my mind with the behind the the way they designed his moves just make him my spider guard crush and make it Nine, eight, two. <laughs> <laughs> F 
Frankie, that isn't... That isn't... That isn't, uh... That isn't filthy. That's... That's godlike. Trust me when I say I play Faust just enough to where I think I could tr potentially bring him into online. Potentially. I have no faith in my ability. You main Johnny too, and he's your third main. Wow. Come. <laughs> the whole PTSD thing was actually a bit. Wow. You know what? I got respect for you then, because I, I, I think. To play Johnny, you have to forget how to play everybody else, in a way. Like, no joke, you have to forget how to play everybody else just to play Johnny in my book. Rush down Johnny and not zoner Johnny, yeah. Respect for you there. Hello, drink some water and stay hydrated, my friend. Thank you for reminding me. Everybody, take a sip. I just refilled my water, so we're good to go until we get this done. Also, how's, howdy, Nick Yardy, Hartke. Pleasure to have, have you on board right now. If you're sticking around, that is. It's pretty late at the moment, but we are drawing some digital jack-o'-lanterns. Stance characters. Ah, okay. So you really like characters that really challenge challenge what it means to be a fighting game character. Does this have something ready to be locked and loaded? Yeah, I can see that. Anyway, since you're new here, I'll go ahead and give you my usual spiel. Uh, name's Ricky T. Bones. I'm a V-singer, V-producer, and V-tuber who enjoys doing all sorts of good stuff. Case in point, our little creative session tonight of drawing a pumpkin. But usually you'll find me playing all sorts of weird games. Like next, this Wednesday, we're doing Have a Nice Death, a roguelite platformer. And then Friday, we're playing a story-based game called Death and Taxes. But yeah, pleasure to meet you. As I dropped my pen yet again. Good. I really need to stop twirling it around. You main Johnny since Guilty Gear. <laughs> wow. You know what? You really threw me as somebody who I pegged as a Johnny anti. But hearing that now, Shigarath, Shigarath Adachi Chaos, my, my condolences, you had to wait so long for your favorite to come back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Johnny took so long to come back with the milk and his 20 pack abs. That man needs to put on a shirt. Oh yeah, for some reason my viewers love to do uh, damage my property. He was actually strategic in XR. It wasn't just unga bunga autopilot billionaire and had an automatic win in a single button. Yeah, it is actually strategic. That does that does strike me as odd because I've played against Leo Whitefang a couple times. Um, we're talking about Guilty Gear Strive, by the way, as we finish up uh, Faust Pumpkin. Okay, this is good. Um, I'd say that is good to go, right, Frankie? I do you, I do you and your bag, Papa Proud. Shit, I forgot to do the rest of the outlining. You were the one that brought the tradition over here. When did that happen? I, yeah, four months sounds about right. Basically had to have been very close to the VTube era of this channel. Looks exquisite to me, Miss Sir Bone Sama. I just read that out loud. Thank you, Frankie. 
I don't know if I necessarily constitute the need to call me Bone Sama, but I will take it as a sign of respect. I think it crashed into a car into the Garfield cart stream and it started from the oh my god okay that makes a whole lot of sense actually actually the deadbeat headband is because this is technically a fan character um long story short deadbeat is what the fans of Calliope Mori well known hollow live vtuber are known as. I am a deadbeat, for example. You know, actually, funny story about about that. Um, my old principal used to tell Cake, Cake Station, my brother, uh, you're gonna be nothing good if you don't start now. You're just gonna be a deadbeat. And well, look at me now. I'm a deadbeat drawing a pumpkin. How do you like me now, Faith Formation Principal? How you like me now? Me and my brother still avoid her at all costs, by the way. She is a scary lady. Cake has some uh, cult-like stories about his time in Faith Formation camp he could share with you, but he's never going to be brought up because he doesn't stream all that much. Frankie, I am not your senpai. For the love of God, I am not your senpai. <laughs> Catechism. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole thwacky with a ruler idea of nuns is still very much a threat in today's world, I must say. Is that technically child abuse? No, down here we call it discipline. <laughs> And that is a very, very unfortunate thing. Okay. I just read that? Yeah, chat's kind of going a little fast, and I have to keep my eye on the prize, as it were. So I seldom check back. Okay. That looks good to me, honestly. I'm surprised that can't turn out as well as it did. Ah, uh, uh, Frankie, please. <laughs> I don't deserve that much. Uh, made him since the first beep Blaze Boo game. Interesting. All right, that's our Faust pumpkin. I feel like I've progressively gotten better at drawing ever since we started with Neko Arc. Yeah, that looks like garbage. That looks nice. That's really okay-ish. And then there's this. That's impressive that I could manage to get that one done. Ah, oh, shit, it's midnight. Okay. Got two cats and two skulls. <laughs> That's how you know it's my spot. Legit, my dad does have some plasticine skulls lying around. Keeps a, keeps a cow, a wolf skull, I think, in the backyard as well. So I don't fall far from the apple tree, as it were. Thus is the flow of learning to draw. Yeah, only compounded with the fact that I'm a very quick learner. Okay, we have one last request, and it is by yours truly. This was Frank uh, Faust O Lantern. Like I said, these will be appearing on the next stream waiting screen. So I'll get these exported off stream. You'll see them very shortly. We have one more request. And it's going to be my yours truly. And I wonder if I actually still have the proper reference for it on my computer. I'm going to have to dig... What was the final result of Nickelark? Oh, oh, you weren't around to see it. Okay, here it is. This is... <laughs> Do you guys just go hop in a box for funds? Actually, so I used to. 3D printed skull of... Printed Skyrim troll skull. Uh, You know, I'll, 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 I'll put it in consideration. 
uh, for goth points. I will. What do you think? Is that an Echo Arc pumpkin or not? Even if it isn't, we're not going back. Echo Arc, I love you! <laughs> Frankie always being a legend. You would beg your parents to sleep in a box as a kid. You would break that thing in your sleep, Phantom. That is not a sustainable way to live. Bunch of Halloween-esque Skyrim props in your house. Nice. You still getting boxes to this day? Then you must be fun-sized. Neko doesn't look half bad, I meant. I agree, yes. Not half bad, not fantastic, but it's still Neko arc. It's still gonna haunt your nightmares. And then we did another Cattle Lantern uh, by, requested by Phantom. Hey, there were some big boxes. True, true. I've had to break down a, a gigantic amount of boxes in my day. So suits typically come in upright boxes, actually, when it comes to loading and unloading. And I kid you not, those boxes are almost the same size as me. Like I may be chest level to those boxes. I could definitely see somebody sleeping in one with like their feet <laughs> tangling out. All right. Last one of the night. Let me go ahead and keep looking for that reference. In case a certain somebody didn't give it to me. Oh God, I might actually have to check my original hard drive for this. Yeah, I know where this is. Come on, tell- Aw, oh, son of a bitch. It's not it. Um... That is not it. Had to break so many boxes at Amazon. God, I hated working there. Oh yeah, yay. Happy Chaos Adachi and Shigora. I would have rejected that immediately. I'm not that good. <laughs> you gotta slept in those boxes. I see. Okay. Okay, it might be in my legacy video stuff folder. Uh-oh, come on. I need that image. Where is it? Don't tell me. I might have to go ask him. Oh, wait. Wait. Hold on. I might have it. Damn it. That's not it. Uh... I'm looking for something related to me, <laughs> in a way. This house made of wolf skulls, nice. Is that a spider web above here? Uh, you might want to turn on the light and have a look, because that can... Oh joy, you're going to have a spider fall on your face, amigo. It's going to want to expand and it'll be like, hmm, there's a, there's a wonderful, stable position right below me. It's definitely not a sturdy home, but it sent a message. Yeah, throne full of skulls tends to do that. We actually discovered a spider web near my near Cake's AC. Terrifying. I thought it was decor. <laughs> but then it turned out, oh no, you had actually wait, you actually killed that spider a while ago? Oh shit. Okay, is this it? No. Please, that's not it either. God, where is it? Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, I might have to go use the internet yet again. This time, I think I might be able to find it easy, assuming he still has it as his profile picture. Okay. Yes! Perfect. Okay. Please tell me I can save this image. Awesome. And it's a JPEG. God damn. Alright, fine. As long as it stays normal. It's not exactly what I need, but it's good enough. And I will send this to him shortly. This is our final drawing of the night. 
Only one person will recognize who this is. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, that's terrifying. Back here, microwave. Oh my god. Interesting. Yeah, there he is. Dear beloved brother, for those who don't know, my brother is Cake Station of Cake Ruby fame. If you don't know what Ruby is, it's a kick-ass, or was once a kick-ass, uh, anime-esque TV show. Um, that was aired and run by Rooster Teeth. Same people who do Achievement Hunter. It, let, it went strong for three for two, three seasons, if I recall correctly, and then unfortunately the showrunner died. My brother Cake Station has dedicated a lot of his <laughs> the same thing for Fortnite. No, although he is technically a amorphous blob that is um, how we should say vitriolic, volatile, and will definitely melt you and your bones should you place a hand in him or on him. At least that's what the lore is. But yeah, Cake has been a major part of my life and I've been a major part of his what about ghosts yep he is ectoplasm so anything that is physical or spiritual or mental touches him it dies he's a form of ectoplasm so he is multi he is multi-plane all seeing all believing all knowing and about uh, 23,000 subscribers more than me anyway um, shilling aside, he's he's a wonderful individual, and I'd like to support him a little bit here on this channel. He's dedicated a lot of his life to learning how to recreate Monty Um's style of animation. And one of these days, maybe maybe in the far off future, if I ever get a chance to make another lore video with an actual model, I would want him to animate it. Because he knows how to make everything look as badass as I do. I want to try now <laughs> be my guest next time he has a next time he has a, a animation ch contest live stream uh, say hi don't ask to touch him <laughs> rest in peace Monty Um yeah he's got a lot of good stories about his time he actually did go to RTX by the way he got to be he got to be with the angels as it were so Cake's been there and back with his team. He's got a dedicated team of animators behind him. We're going to watch and see what they do next. <laughs> you named the spider who you killed Colonel Sanders because he came Kentucky Fried. <laughs> Sounds about right. Can you touch him? Frankie, I'm going to level with you here. Do you want to die? <laughs> a slow and painful gelatinous ooze death. Consider these words, consider this carefully. Cake is technically a gelatinous ooze from D&D, now that I think about it. Hang on, I got a night. Uh, I want to do something real quick. Has Cake accidentally murdered someone by bumping into them? Um, Not yet. Not yet. There's still time. There's still plenty of life within him. However long a gelatinous ooze lasts for. But uh, would he murder somebody by bumping into them? Probably not. I don't think he, most, he goes out all that much anyway. Not anymore. I need to do something quickly, see if I can make this an interesting night, but I, maybe he might be asleep right now, I don't know. I heard he was working. So let me go ahead and start drawing. Hmm, okay. So what I'm going to do is first, it needs to be jagged. And 
and centered. Can a slime kill a god of madness on touch? Uh, some might say Cake is the god of madness. He's He's gone for many an hour without sleep or drink. That's just be how the animator life is. <laughs> yeah, this has become the cake q and <laughs> I'm Cake's brother, AMA. Post a selfie on 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 Reddit. Yeah, what is that eye? Hey, I'm talk I'm happy to talk about my baby brother. At the very least, I'm not sure he's happy to have me talk about him, but he's a pride point. That's a fiendish looking. Bloblet. I can't do that. But I will. Oh, he is asleep, damn it. He might be asleep, but I'll go ahead and send him. Go ahead and send him a cheeky screenshot. Maybe he's just laying down. I don't know. You talk about your little sister on stream, too? Hmm. Let's see. I still need to do that eye, but let me just go ahead and save this. There we go. was not asleep. He is awake. <laughs> oh, God. to talk about your boss on stream mostly because he is an absolute stand-up mate for all someone for someone from island of all places interesting wait adachi chaos shigo rat do you stream like somewhere i can see it or are you just talking about like in other people's chat first one how the f okay I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna cheat because I'm I'm kind of tired <laughs> copy Transform, flip, done, deselect, move, you used to stream on Twitch, but then you deleted your account. Ah, I see. Interesting. Yeah, we've been going for a long time. What happened to my Twitch? Okay. Uh, that's kind of a long story, but in a nutshell... Uh, to me, it's just... 
it's hard to like split only three days of streaming between here and Twitch, and then I have to download that VOD and post it back here. On top of that, um, when you start out on Twitch, your viewers do not have access to a quality slider. So it's a lot of work for somebody who doesn't, who does not like consistently stream on Twitch. It's like a hard commit that you have to make, and I'm not willing to do that. You know? So, like, I would have to... Also, Twitch sucks. Mmm, that's... That's, uh... That's... That's an opinion. Twitch is an interesting beast in itself. It's got a lot more, like, conditioning when it comes to, like, viewership. Like, viewers know a lot more that you're kind of doing this as a service. They're a lot more... They're a lot more prone with to use their money to thank you. In a weird way. And, you know, now that I'm unmonetized, I can't... I can't take advantage of that. I don't want to, for the matter. You know, hype trains are terrifying to me. I don't know how people can just, like... However, I bet you and some other people in chat, I have a feeling they know how repetitive things can get with content. I tried switching to provide, but yeah, exactly, exactly. Twitch is more like if you want to be a... Twitch is more like if you want to be more like... Like, eSports is really popular on Twitch. Or fighting games. Like, Maximilian Dude is fighting games. That's his thing, and he's not shy about it. Twitch sucks now. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, because Cake has pupils, let me see. Can I just get away with that? Nah. It needs to be Cake more, more Cake-like. Eventually you deleted the account, started fresh with one of the many... Started fresh during... Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna make a small... Now the hard part is going to be making it to not look like one of my old drawings. Mm, creepy. That looks okay, but it looks too bean-like. Twitch does have redeemed. Yeah. Oh, wow. I outlasted the music, guys. <laughs> We've been going far too long. <laughs> okay. Amazing. We outlasted the three hour playlist I had. All right. We'll just go with some regular lo fi while we finish this up. You delete it. Wow. Yeah. Yep. We've officially been going too long. Okay. No, this is not the beginning of the 24 hour Ricky stream. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare put promises in my. Don't you dare put those words in my mouth. I will never do 24 hour stream. I like myself too much. Hmm, okay. I can work from here out, I think. Like, I don't know how people can do that to themselves. Like, you know how the classic streamer getup is a tank top? A. It's a tank top and some sort of athletic shorts. You know the reason for that, right? It's because they are doing everything in their power to not harm the audio quality. Or they're trying everything to do everything in their power to be comfy. Because sitting around all day is not healthy for you. Like, take it from somebody who used to be a chronic TF2 player. You just don't appreciate yourself exactly. That's not something I'm trying to avoid here. 
I mean, some people are better conditioned for it, maybe. God, that looks disgusting, but whatever, I can fix it. Um, some people are better conditioned for it, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Like, you try to do that Pokemon stream. Yeah, there is, but I already cheated once. I don't... I shouldn't do it again. Hmm. Okay, I want to space this out a bit. Because we want it in inwards, like so. Okay, that looks good. And then what if we do... Mm, let's try like so. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we need two little cutouts right here. What do you... Oh, that's the eraser, right. Now you kind of have a bit to go up from your past repetitive stream yourself. Now you split smaller streamers. Eventually I came across your account and the rest is history. Alright. Interesting to know I've got a I've got a veteran in my corner. Veteran streamer, quote unquote. You ever think about returning to the biz? YouTube streaming is actually not that bad now. It's definitely a lot more friendly. Uh, they even added in raids now, which ra <laughs> Phantom. I've been I've been very fortunate to be a, a part of Phantom's targeting. Still have yet to figure out if I can do it though. I might be able to, but we've already been up so long. Uh, you missed nothing. Basically, we were just <laughs> been retired for about two years. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I see, so those are a little bit hide. Raid Shadow Legends. You can probably tell me how. I think I do know how, actually. Let me see. Let me see what happens. Because I think I did look it up. I want to see real quick while we're here and stuck on this. I think I know how to redirect. Should be under customization or something like that. Customization, no. It might not be a feature available to me at the moment. Create highlight, add stream marker, share, and then there's the big old fuck you button that says end stream yeah it might not be a feature available to me at the moment all right now i need to add in the blush which that's more or less right here and right here and that's an okay looking cake pumpkin honestly that's an okay looking cake pumpkin yeah that's actually really decent streaming is still bad even with Susan being booted out the door it's basically this... yeah say that I recommended with variety or die trying yeah I could never, I could never stick to one thing. Like Pizza Tower, yes. Pizza Tower is a phenomenal game because not only is it eye grabbing, is it eye candy, and am I having fun with it? It's also very rewarding. It's kind of like, like Pizza Tower is the only consistent thing because I consistently have fun with it. I don't know how people can just go on and on and on playing games like Valorant where it's so stagnant or the recent squeak of virus that's hit all of vtubers i watch i haven't played pizza tower in about one month see that's the thing 
is that I know, I know how to keep things. Didn't know there was blush. Yeah, actually. Cake has a very good sense of what things when things are cute. Actually, like Cake's personal wardrobe right now is very colorful, and I gotta commend him for actually, you know, just embracing, embracing his baby face nature. He's a very chill dude. Still my favorite. Well, he's my only he's my only sibling directly related to me, but you know. I just kinda wish we had more time to talk. Now we need to legitimize this somehow. The key to streaming is to make sure both you and your people are having fun. That's what streaming is all about. Not money, not attention, but fun. So we could killed your mother, yes, yes, I'm aware. It's killed many of people. <laughs> Kuro, Kuro is sadly, sadly deep down her very own made rabbit hole. And she is more than ready to die on that hill, that watermelon shaped hill. Yeah, it, it's just like Valorant, you know, people people get so used to it that it just becomes like a a fun game to have on in the background. Like I have a friend, uh, Raven, cool ass name. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Just as you start talking about a crow, befriended. Nice. Um, I got a friend named Raven who's actually ne legitimately named Raven. Uh, that was a friend I actually went to San Japan with. And, um, Raven and I are both killer at Mario Kart. But the last time we played, um, we legitimately just, our hands were doing their own damn thing and we were talking shit, we were talking about shit like anime and husbandos and, and waifus and whatnot. And it was so nice to have like a game you can just turn off your brain and still be good at it. Like that was a really interesting experience. Okay, let me stop being mushy-gushy. Gave him a nickel and he flew away. Then he came back and had a quarter in his mouth with the original nickel. Good boy. That's cool. That's that's literally Edgar Allan Poe right there. Okay, this one, I need to make it cute. We need to maintain its say so -ness. Even though cake is far from. <laughs> so we're going to make nice horizontal lines. And then we might do an additional truss up here and maybe one down below like so. Hmm, over here is better. Nice to have another friend other than a husky. Mm. Actually, you know what? No, we're just going to suspend disbelief here and stick with this. For aesthetic's sake. I gotta say, this has been a legitimately chill stream. You know, usually I'm like panicking over what to do, but I didn't think I was actually going to be this good at, you know, just freeform drawing. Like, I started doing art because I I could do it. Pixel art is easy. You just need a mouse and maybe a good art program. You also need to have some visual visualization, I realize. You know, be able to visualize what the hell you want. So. It does... I do have a... I do have a modicum of skill, it seems when it comes to drawing because I can visualize it. That's apparently a rarer skill than being able to like, you know, draw pretty stuff. A 
like legit. Um, back when I was working as a suit salesman, guys would literally come up to me and say, I don't know anything about clothing. I want you to pick up my outfit. And I was just like, sure, they're paying me to do this. Why not? But eventually I got sick of it, of course. Damn it, all the hell. Okay. We are in real concentration hours. There we go. draw the outline here. Hmm. How those pumpkins would look in real life with a candle? Mm. I mean, I don't think we've carved our pumpkins yet, actually. I might be able to show some of these designs to Cake and see what he thinks. Maybe they're doable. Who knows? got into that weird ASMR part of my hoarseness where I just gravel 24-7 nights and weekends shit that's how you know I'm really focused okay I'm gonna go ahead ASMR stream when I have no intention, but if I were given the opportunity, I might indulge. However, those things are damn expensive. I feel like I kind of did that with, in a, in a sense, well, half partly. Could he hate ASMR? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm actually, um, I'm not a fan of ASMR either. I indulge every now and again when it's somebody I like, somebody's voice I like, but... I triggers do not work on me as a relaxant. Triggers freak me the hell out. That's what they do. However, I will say if you want an ASMR experience that's not an ASMR experience but still an ASMR experience, uh, there's a very cursed live stream by Calliope Mori where uh, you may or may not be subject to a bag putting being put over your head. And not in a good way, like Frankie. <laughs> uh, it was a cursed ASMR stream by Calliope Mori. And I was giggling the entire time as she was cackling maniacally. Not, I wasn't into it, obviously. But it was, it was funny to hear somebody break all the rules of something being calm. Activates your fight or flight. Exactly, yes. That is exactly what it does to me, too. Thought you could flow with the breeze, Frankie. <laughs> it's an ASMR video I've seen in my recommended called I Beat You Until You're Unconscious. <laughs> Please tell me it's the one I'm thinking of by Axel Sirius. You just listen to YouTube videos you liked or a cartoon movie when you need to sleep. Yeah, I have to like find out find certain voices because I, I think I talked about this before maybe on Phantom's channel yeah it was a chat during Phantom's channel um, I actually said I used to listen to the BBC radio late at night 
just to have something on. It's by Joseph Makes Videos. Ah, okay, never mind then. Yeah, Axel Serios of Hollow Stars uh, <laughs> did an ASMR beating somebody up. Anyway, well, that's our cake. That's that's dear old brother. Now, not so old, but you know what I mean. So, I'll go ahead and remove this. Silence for sleep, which absolute silence is basically impossible. Yeah, you have to get noise canceling headphones for that. Adorable slime boy, yeah. Let's review then. The next pumpkins we'll see outside my door when we come back for Have a Nice Death. <laughs> Is it bad that I legitimately forgot we drew this? <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. Did I forget what it looked like? Absolutely. I'm that tired. 1230, exactly what I thought. Okay. So, we drew Neko Arc based on Shigaratha Adachi, Adachi Chaos's request. For Crafty Shrafty, we drew a not so great Cup of Joe skull, but we tried our best. Oh yeah, rain is nice. Unfortunately, I there's a lot there's a lot of tin roofs around my, where I live, <laughs> so rain is never relaxing. We drew a pinito pumpkin, a simple skull, cute one at that. A cat o' lantern based on Glitch Phantom's request. A Faust o lantern, which I am supremely proud of for actually being able to capture that. Tin ruins rain indeed. And a cake. A cake op cake pumpkin. I'm actually gonna send this to him real quick. Um Damn this guitar is going hard. Maybe that'll cheer him up. I'm always busy working on his next project. Tell him we say hi. Gotcha. As per the usual, my, my brother says... Cake says Henlo. It was fun drawing while I was drawing? Oh, that's cool. When did you end up drawing, Phantom? Anything you can show, or are you just gonna work on it until you can put it on Twitter? Also, if you want to what you were drawing? Oh, okay. Pumpkins. Ah. In case any of y'all want to make your own pumpkins for this Halloween season, uh, on Twitter and on the YouTube community post, I have placed a link to Garu VT's Ko-Fi, where you can get the free pumpkin that is a blank like this one. Highly encourage you if you got an R program, but... With that being said, we're going to have go ahead and close it out for the night. Damn, this guitar is going crazy. Love it. Thank you all for joining me and writing reading last, if you don't mind. Saying it now, listening to the KH2 version of Dearly Beloved while listening to the pitter-patter of rain feels nice. Try it when you're falling asleep on a rainy night. All right, I'll give it a shot. Like I said, it's... <laughs> It's, uh, what's it? It's hard to do when you got tin roofs all around you in your neighborhood. Yeah. All right. 
thank y'all for staying up so late. For some of y'all, maybe it's not too late. Like like Phantom, it would be 11 p.m. Anybody on the East Coast, it'd be 2 a.m. Ugh, I need to get some rest because I got some chores to do tomorrow that makes me get up early. So we'll close it off with the usual. Memento Viveri. Memento Mori. And please do your best to enjoy your writing your life story. Have a good night, y'all. Have a good night. <laughs>